Did you not get the message? This is a hostile takeover. Hey, Dixie Carter, I know you're in the house. We're not leaving. We're not leaving the impact zone and we, until we take this damn place over. We're taking back what is mine. Hey, Dixie, we're taking back what you stole from me. Well, this is gonna get very intriguing, ladies and gentlemen. Here's Dixie Carter. Stole from you? Stole from you? You damn right. No more Dixie Carter and no more of your stupid, moronic, idiotic business mistakes. Okay, let's talk about mistakes for a minute, okay? I at least admit mine. Have you ever once in your life done that, huh? I have never thrown your mistakes up in your face, Jeff, ever. All I ever wanted to do was work by your side for us to be a team. And all I hear, all, all these good people here, you're right, boys, that is what we hear. I You know, Dixie, PSA, 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 PSA. we were a very successful team. Very successful team. Until what? Until you stole my power. And you stole my power and you replaced me with regime after regime after regime that failed miserably time after time after time well those days are over that's why we're standing in this ring and the hostile takeover is going to be complete you think i'm just going to stand by and let you do that huh you you left tna do you people realize that you left tna i have been here since day one fighting the fight that still continues to this day removed from power, Jeff, okay? Let's talk about that. I didn't remove you from power. You removed yourself from power. All of your mistakes, and guess what? I still stood by your side, and I still hoped you would change. But I'll give you this. You did, you did teach me a lot about wrestling. He did do that. But you know what? You taught me even more about ego. And when you lead with ego and you don't get your way, you just take your ball and go home. You just damn right like I do. What Shut you up, Dixie. To you TNA. damn right I do. Just like what because you did to Because I TNA. know exactly what's best for this place. I prove it time and time again. And with my ownership stake, there's not a damn thing you can do. I'm standing this ring and there ain't nothing you can do about it. You know, you know what? You're right. Your ownership stakes, you're right. You're, you're right. What if, what if I, what if I made you an offer not even you could refuse, huh? What if it was something that would either get rid of me for good or get rid of you? One fight. One match, winner take all. My majority shares in this company versus your shares, Jeff. And why, why would I even consider doing it? You wanna know? For the men and women who have chosen to stay in TNA, who have chosen to stay and fight for this company. I invest in people, Jeff, not one I person. Dixie Carter, you want to accuse me of being selfish? Dixie, you obviously don't know the real Jeff Jarrett. I walk on God's green earth to serve, not to be served. Look at these gentlemen. Look at these guys standing in the ring. Why are they standing in the ring? because they believe in me.
They believe in Global Force Wrestling. And you know why they believe in me? Because each and every one of these guys understand one thing, is that I'll get in the damn trenches with them day in, day out, and fight. So Dixie, the proof is in the pudding. Look who's standing behind me. You want to put your ownership at stake and go points for points, winner take all? I got my team. You have nobody behind you. Is this really happening? Is Dixie, I mean, Dixie made the offer. Her majority shares in this company versus Jess, and, and now there's somebody behind Dixie Carter. That's Drew Galloway. Drew Galloway, who took out Sanjay Dutt earlier to allow Bobby Roode to win the King of the Mountain Championship. Drew Galloway is standing side by side with Dixie Carter. Jeff, you started this and thought we were gonna lay down and die. Now I'm here to tell you, from me, from Dixie, from these fans, for anybody that's ever supported TNA, that you and GFW can go straight to hell. You tell him, Drew Galloway. Tell him one more time. Hell. I am here to stand up for Dixie, our company, our future, our way of life. And if you want a hostile takeover, you're going to have to go through all of us. And Drew Galloway is not alone. Eddie Edwards and Davey Richards, the now former TNA World Tag Team Champions, standing side by side with Drew. I don't think it's fair to say that nobody was standing behind him, but look at this. There's the tank that moves like a race car. Here comes Lashley to stand beside Dixon Carter, Drew Galloway, and the Wolves. We all stand behind Dixon Carter because we're part of TNA. But these guys right now are on the front line, Josh. On the front line and ready to go I to see battle. that change in demeanor. And I strongly suggest you start fashioning the white flag of surrender. Because this is Team TNA. And we are ready for the war. One match to decide our future.